hello everyone welcome back i am your host paradox witch and we're playing fallout shelter this is actually day 39 um i believe and we got a lot of stuff going on within the vault there's a train off into the distance me and luca we are still hanging out at our trapper cabin and just enjoying some nice fresh air being out of the city and everything and i remember to take my allergy pills before um, signing on usually I'm at this point I'm like already coughing and everything but yeah I, I remember it to, to do the algae pills um, oh our, um, our Mr. Handy came back um, let's hurry up and let him in the vault um, he's maxed out he can only carry um, 5,000 bottle caps which that's good um, every bottle cap counts um, we're close to our goal, actually. Um, I need to put him somewhere, I think. Um, I will put him... Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to put him, um, in here. And I'm going to let this new dweller in. Okay. Francis Grant. Hmm. She's not really high in anything, so I'm trying to figure out what to do with her. Um, we could actually turn her into um, a breeder if we wanted to, but right now I think I'm actually like really, really good. So just what I'm going to do, just to have her as like a placeholder and everything, I'm going to put her um, in here. And I'll, I'll equip her with an outfit and a weapon and everything because they are um, ground floor so that means that they can get, um, they can be attacked by mole rats and they can be attacked by red scorpions which red scorpions can pop up anywhere within the vault but they're, I think I read in the loading screen that they most likely occur in, damn it, seriously! Ugh, Lord, I hate Deathlock. Don't like them. Like, seriously, they, they're always like breaking my shit. Okay. Um. Well, I think everybody's healed up for right now. Let me level these two. Um. Real quick. Um. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, where's our? Okay. Um gonna actually get him in here. Uh, Lord, I do not like Death Claw attacks. And I'm gonna get him right here. Um. Uh, where's our other guy? Oh, okay, he went there. Uh, uh damn it. I, I really need to get them some armor. Okay, I'm gonna revive. Gonna revive. Okay, so that's actually pretty decently good. Okay. Um, yeah, still don't particularly care for death claw attacks. Lately, every time I sign in, nothing but like a freaking death claw attack. If you watched yesterday's episode, you guys will know what I'm talking about. I wasn't in the vault for three minutes and death claws came out of nowhere. Um, seriously don't like them. Um, okay, so let's start leveling some people up. And yeah, this action going on. Um, I think we got a while before we can actually put in... Oh, um, let me double check some stuff real quick. Um, okay, so... Um, Okay, so they're doing pretty decent on, um, like, training and leveling up. Um, that should be seven, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a while before we put them, um, in our, uh, brand spanking new, um, what is it? Um, science lab to produce rad packs, but that will actually be okay. Um, and so, um... I was talking to Luca about like fallout shelter and everything and I was asking him for some tips because 
he's playing one vault where it's just in like regular mode like the mode that I'm playing and then he's got another he cloned his um save file and everything and so now he has like um one that he's playing in survival mode and he was saying that it kind of doesn't matter if you're in survival mode or you're in um what do you call it um regular mode and everything the most you want to really keep anybody because he doesn't have super soldiers Oop, there he is okay um he doesn't have super soldiers for his vault. He's like, I have some people who are high, highly skilled that are out in the wasteland, but he's like, the most you want to leave your people out in the wasteland is about the same time that you leave Mr. Handy um, out there, which is about three days. He's like, because I have the super soldier program, he's like, your people will probably be able to stay out um, a bit longer and everything. I was like, okay, like, that's good know. He's like, you know, if you've got questions, I'll, you know, just feel free to ask me. He's like, you can always have me on your show and everything. I was like, well, before you were like being a little Mr. Snippy butt about it, where he didn't want to do it. So now all of a sudden, oh, I, I think I'll do it and everything. So, but, you know, I'll, I will be asking him um, questions. I'm... I was trying to see if I had, um, I'm going to give her this hunting rifle, actually. And I'm going to equip her. I should have, um, maybe I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. I do have this thing here. So, there we go. And, yeah, we got our, we got our little buddy down here and his little, his skibbies. Um, so we're doing good on that. Um, a vault boy, vault boy is still, um, bitching that we're running low on stuff and we're not um well we're running low on space but we're not Ooh, um the calibrated pipe rifle okay something that we can't make um the armor piercing 32 so let's actually i'm thinking of making this focus laser rifle is what i'm thinking on um Let's see. Is there anything else that we can make that's like super super good? Uh, no. So that's what we're gonna do real quick. We're gonna make this. Where where'd it go? Yeah, we're gonna make this focused um, laser rifle and everything, and that should that should cut down on a lot of the um, the stuff that we have um, in our storage. Um, and let's see. Oh, that's not what I want. I want to actually make, dang it, I want to make something, I want to craft. Um, and we got the scribe rope. Um, it's nothing, as far as I can tell, it's nothing super mega special. Um, sadly, it's nothing super mega special. Um, I'm trying to see what we can actually make. Um, hmm, something of like, real goodness that we can make okay so we'll just let them mill around for a little bit and we'll just keep working on our our focus laser rifle because the laser rifle i i like that and the um sawed off shotgun but um i also like the um mrv it's a nuclear warhead launcher and i also like the um the the fat the fat man i think that's what it's called um i think he might have a no he doesn't have a fat man um well he's got the mrv i think yeah he oh sorry the mirv and everything but yeah so i thought that i one of these people did my super soldier have it no they got uh they got plasma weapons i think because the plasma weapons i will say except for her she's got the gatling laser like that thing is badass um Okay, yeah, she's got it. She's got the rusty fat man. Um, eventually, I do want to, I guess, like, it seems like every weapon has, like, a rusty version. And then there's, like, a a more enhanced. Like, I don't know if there's, like, three levels to it. But you've got, like, the rusty this. And then you got, like, you're, you're okay. Um, don't worry. We're going to uh, improve their mood um, pretty soon. Because she's got, like, what, um, about 17 hours. He's got 35 minutes. He's got 36 minutes. 
Um, so, yeah. Uh, it probably won't be, um, this episode, but I will just off-camera level these, um, two up and everything. And that's gonna love, that's gonna max them out, isn't it? Yeah, these two are getting ready to max out. So, you know what? Let's go a little bit long with this because I'm here. I'm gonna turn my timer off. Um, because we are. We're gonna go a little bit long. We've got about 16 minutes left and everything. But yeah, my timer is gonna go off because, um, we'll just go over by like 20 minutes. Cause, well, we'll probably go out off a little bit longer since they're going to. Let me make sure that he's at level 9 also. Yeah. So these two are gonna be the first two to, um, um, try to, we're gonna try to make, um, the legendary dwellers and everything. And so, um, you can have, uh, legendary babies. So let's see if they can actually make a legendary, um, baby and everything. And these two, like, once she gives birth, like, they'll, she'll be the first, they'll be the first two to go out. And then that will give us time to, um, build up our stem packs and our rad packs again. We actually, we may actually, you know what? I think I do need to do that. Um, I may go ahead this episode and take these people out of the classroom because how are they doing actually? Um, you know what? They're actually maxed out. So let's, let's actually do that right now and we'll have them, um, make um uh, some grad packs and some stem packs because we're gonna send well you know what we actually don't need that because my people they don't actually use a lot i've noticed that like i send them out with 25 um grad packs and 25 stem packs and they come back with nearly all of their um stem packs they just use um i mean their rad packs they just use a fuck ton of um, stem packs or whatever. But yeah, that's what we'll do. We won't, we won't put that in. We'll let them max out completely and everything. They'll still have the lab coats and everything, so I don't think, you know, it's gonna like, you know, make them OP. I don't even know if you can be OP in Fallout Shelter. Okay. And, oh yeah, that's right. I got, uh, that Mr. Handy, he's just zooming back and forth over here. But I will put in, because we probably will get another, um, person. If their kid is, whatever, well, let me rephrase that. If their kid isn't high in endurance or something like that, don't worry, we got this. Um, dang. Um, if their kid isn't, like, super high in endurance and everything, I'll put them in, um, you know, a different module where they're better suited. And then whoever gets moved out because just about all my modules are maxed out. But I will put whoever gets pushed out, if they've got relatively good endurance, I will put, well, even if they don't have relatively good endurance, I will move them into here and everything. Well, I'll add on another module and then I'll add them um, into there. And that will take care of our storage situation because... I have no idea how much you're going to be able to bring back from the wasteland and everything. Um, but I'm thinking... Okay. But yeah, so... This may end up being like... Because I don't want them making like a ton of children. Like once they get done making children, I may um, move male super soldier he may go up here because like i said it seems like every time i log in that i get a death claw attack so we may just let them take care of that particular um situation and then he will go down here and live a relatively quiet life because other than like a fire that's the only thing that i've had pop up um into this area and everything so we're, we're still oh i will say we are um, we are doing good and everything, but we'll just, this will just be looking for, um, uh, what's his name? The mystery dweller and everything. Um, is that Thunder? Oh, no. Um, 
there's not too far from where our trapper cabin is there is apparently like a rock quarry or something because every now and then like you'll hear a dump truck and you'll hear something that sounds like thunder and everything and me and Luca we haven't it we haven't explored this area which we keep saying that we're actually gonna go um, exploring and see you know what is in this area because it's just straight up um, country out here and it's a piece of land that I inherited after my my mother passed away and everything and Luke and I were like we like we originally tried to give it back to because I guess originally it was a part of like a Native American um, reservation and everything so we tried to give it back but they said that because my mother's grandfather um he was actually like a blackfoot indian i think i, I don't remember um she was telling me about him and everything because um when she met her dad and everything he told her like about his side of the family and he gave her a picture of her her grandmother was actually african uh african american and her grandfather was um a native american and everything so that was like that's a really interesting piece of history but they said that you know it's a part of my heritage and they refused to take the land back so what me and luca did we put like a little small trapper cabin um for those of you who may want to look up getting a trapper cabin they're about the same price as a used car and i kid you not it took them all of two days to because the, the land was pretty level and everything um but apparently like we we did buy the, the adjacent um land and everything just so that we can have like a bigger um portion and everything in case we want to um build a house out here which i don't i don't see it happening because we're um we're building a house in um highland county and everything but for those um back to what i was saying for those of you who may you know have a small piece of land or you find a small piece of land that's relatively um inexpensive you can get a trapper cabin for we paid all of seven thousand dollars so it's about the same price as a used car and everything and it's just we keep saying that you know we're going to use this as like our getaway spot especially when he comes home from like doing voice acting stuff and he just honestly he needs like a little like he needs time to decompress this is going to be our decompressed spot and we were both um feeling a little aggravated and frustrated with being in the city um mainly i was just annoyed that my neighbor keeps like flirting with me and like i like to go outside and work in my garden and everything and i'm sure like when i go back to my house because it's not a very long drive for me it's maybe like an hour um in the car and everything i'm gonna drive um back home pick up some zucchini and squash and i'm gonna put them out on the grill i i originally had planned to do a a skillet meal which i've got like this really awesome cookbook for those of you who are either single or you guys you just don't have the cooking skills or you just you, you want something quick and easy i've got the um Campbell's um, Campbell's four ingredient or less cookbook and I also have the Betty Crocker four ingredient dinner and everything just has four ingredients so I had originally planned for tonight of doing like a skillet meal and everything and it's just ground beef taco seasoning Spanish rice and just for Luca because he does like food that's a little spicy I've got hot bananas I was gonna um, chop up about two um, hot bananas, add it in with the ground beef, saute it, and everything. And we we're gonna have like one skillet meal. I also do um, because I, I did go to um, Sam's Club and everything, and I got like little cans of like nacho cheese, and you just top it off with nacho cheese, and it's so good. Luca, he will actually like get tortilla chips, and he's like, this is much better as a dip than it is a dinner and everything. So that's like our our like guilty dinner and everything. And sometimes. I'll pair it up with a little lettuce so you kind of get a um oh we got mr drill action it's kind of like a taco shell list taco oh found them um yeah i just in the elevators just to save myself some time i just look for on this side i just look for green light and if i see green light because we don't have any kids um roaming around our vault we don't have any people 
um, roaming around our vault and everything. So we're we're actually we're good to go with finding him in elevators right now. Um, Luca, it he said that it's actually kind of nerve wracking for his vault because he has a lot of people in his vault. He's now up to like 400 people uh, because like his people went like on a breeding spree apparently like when he was not paying attention and it was hilarious he's like oh, i got children running everywhere no mystery um no um um legendary dwellers and everything but he said that it's a nightmare because you'll click on the elevator and it's just like some random ass person um roaming throughout the vault and everything so i'm just like oh like i don't want to get to to that point like i think i'm going to cap out um, my vault since he did modify it and everything where um, we'll be able to have like unlimited number of people but I think just because I don't think I can keep track of everybody I'm gonna mac I'm gonna cap mine out at probably like 250 once we get um, all of our um, our mystery dwell like well not our mystery dwellers our um, I just said the word legendary dwellers but we've got nobody out in the wasteland right now, so we're, we're still, I will say, we're still doing good and everything. Um, no, no, like, massive amount of, um, like, vault emergencies and everything, which I'm, I'm grateful for. Like, oh my gosh, seriously, death call attacks, can't stress it enough, do not like it. So, um, Bethesda, if you're listening, I do not like death call attacks like seriously death call attacks suck um okay so we're, we're actually oh we got someone leveling up um i've actually got um that's the only thing i kind of wanted to um to show you and everything i've got a lot of people who let me um organize by level i did not realize i had like this many people that were level 50 like i'm i'm shocked like i'm shocked and i'm happy um, oh, she's actually not in the right place. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do that since we're looking for something to do. Um, Judith Pier, uh, let's see, how is she? Um, oh, wait, she, yeah, she's got agility eight. That's the reason I put her there. Um, but I'm actually going to move her. Oh, ah, oh, damn it. Um, we don't actually have... You know what? I'm gonna let it will burn itself out. Ooh, maybe it won't. Maybe it will just cause a massive fire. Okay. So let's see about like taking care of that situation. Oh, please don't burn it all the way down. So yeah, their pets will ah damn it. Um Yeah, you guys you guys didn't actually put out fire, so Okay, so there we go. I swear, like, we need to hold, like, some vault, like, safety drills or something. Like, I wonder if you could do that. It's like, have a vault, like, fire drill. Um, okay, that fire's still burning. Um, let's go ahead and level these people up real quick. Because they, they give us bottle caps when, um, we level them up. Um, yeah, dogs, they will not stay in a burning room. Which, I mean, I love my cat, Sassy, as much as, like, any pet owner uh, can love their, their little fu uh, their little fuzzy buddy and everything. But Sassy, she probably would sit there and watch, like, the house catch fire and be like, yep, that's fire. And everything, because I've been cooking. And for those of you who do cook and everything, like, when you fry stuff, especially when I make tempura and everything, because sometimes I've got, like, one of those, um like miniature vat fryers that has like the basket and you can lower everything down um into it and everything um i have like been frying in like a little frying pan making tempura that way and there has been like grease popping and it's like popped on my arm and burned me and everything not burned bad but you know how you kind of feel like the sting and everything and you just do some cold water and a little neosporin and you're right as rain but Sassy, she'll sit there and just watch the grease pop and the oil pop and everything. And it's actually, like, fallen on her nose once she went youch and then came right back. Like, I'm good. Like, she's going to make sure if there's, like, food to be given out, like, she's going to be the first one um, to get food 
and last night like I was slicing up some um, cucumber for our salad and everything and she sat there and watched me slice a cucumber and Luca came over and he got a piece of um, cucumber and everything and he flung it to her that cat actually ate cucumber which I've seen sassy no kidding eat pound cake like cats are supposed to not be able to taste sweet well at least that's the theory that they can't taste sweet but she sat there and she ate the pound cake and then she started begging for more I'm just like oh my gosh like you are my mom always said because it was her cat originally and when she passed away I, I took both of her cats and everything and she's like I don't know what sassy is she's like that's a goat cat she'll eat anything and when we got her from the guy who had to put an ad in the paper saying that he had um uh, kittens and everything and that he needed to find them a good home they were actually calling her funny face and i mean because like half of her face is like black and gray and like a little bit of like a light tan and then the bottom part like the bottom like right part of her lip she's got like red streaks of like red fur and everything and i'm just like oh my goodness if i could find like like, that's what I, I kind of told Luca that I want to do. I wanted to find like a puppy that had like some like red, like a reddish kind of coat and everything. And I kind of want to name him Red 13 just because I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. And he's like, no, 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 no. He's like, no, you can't do that. He goes, it's bad enough that you're naming our firstborn son Sephiroth. I'm like, I don't know if like, it, I, there's no like guarantee like, okay, it's gun the baby. Like if we have, hold on. Yeah, that if we have like a kid or anything, that that kid's gonna be a boy. We could just as easily have a girl and everything. He's like, no, nah, I think our first kid is probably gonna be a boy. And he's like, and his name is gonna be Sephiroth. He goes, and I'm like, well, I'm not 100% on naming the kid Sephiroth. Like, I'm kind of leaning towards the name Angeal, and I'm kind of leaning towards the name Genesis. But like, what do you do when you know if we have like more than one kid and everything? You name one Genesis and one Sephiroth. And then Genesis and Sephiroth start like fighting and then Sephiroth sets fire to the house and Genesis like completely goes batshit crazy. Like what seriously, what do you do to that and everything? He's like, Oh, our house is just gonna be it's gonna be Shinra headquarters, like once they turn teenagers. I'm like, Oh my gosh, like could be over dramatic and everything, but he's just like, No, I don't like it. I'm like, no, I'm like my private parts, my kid, so I get the I get to pick the name. Um, I think uh, the mystery driller. I think I heard his. I'm out of here music. I'm just doing a double check and everything, which I'm at the point where I'm just letting him um, come to me. Yeah, that was he was inside the vault. Um, I just heard his. I'm out of here music. But yeah, I'm kind of doing where I'm just letting him come to me, and I'm not roaming the whole entire vault because that makes it really easy to um to miss him and everything how many more minutes do we have on this uh, we got 17 more minutes okay um we can we can tough it out for for 17 more minutes um i think we're i think we are going to get a storm it kind of smells like kind of it does like before um you get a rain and everything so I mean yesterday we had an amazing downpour it happened like right when um, I got ready to live stream and I was outside and everything and I had to like pack up my stuff real quick and run inside the um, the cabin and I just I just streamed from the upper loft and I let Luca have the living room and um, Sakura he was actually in the bedroom taking a nap and everything so I was like okay like I'll, I'll let that that situation resolve itself which I don't mind using the loft I actually prefer using the loft because you can the way our loft is done um we actually put in a we when we ordered our building plan and they didn't charge us like anything extra which I mean it, kudos to you guys but they didn't charge us any more money for wanting to damn it um, let's take care of this situation. Um, and then... Oh, hold on. Oh, should we do be calm? Um, there we go. Um, it'll be relatively easy to move her around. 
Um. Oh, we got some. Wait, we've got a Mr. Handy on that ball. Oh. No, we're just we're running rampant. Um. So we're actually gonna move this person back in here. And then. Uh, oh well, never mind. Uh, everybody's moving back to where they're supposed to be. I was getting ready to start moving people around. Um, but there's actually... Okay, this is what I was trying to do beforehand. I'm actually going to switch out um, her um, her outfit. Even though she's got like the heavy Murdic gear, she doesn't actually need the heavy Murdic gear. Um, so I'm going to switch her into regular... Um, hold on. I'm going to see if I'm, I maybe have a better combat armor. I don't think I do. Well, I do. I've got military fatigues. So, yeah. Let's give her the military fatigues. And we'll give... Yeah, so let's just go ahead and start switching some people out on their, um... On their items. And we'll just... Okay. And we'll level her up again. Oh, damn it. Um, who's moving where? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out where he's moving to. Um. Oh, okay. Um, two, four. Oh, okay. So we actually do. We need one more person in here. Um, okay. That's actually not too bad. Um, since I have him here and everything, I'm just going to go ahead and give him... I hear you. Give him some military fatigues and move him back. Um, let's see, where are you? I do not see our buddy. He may bloop out of existence before I can find him. I'm fairly sure he's going to bloop out of existence. Oh, yeah. Okay, anyway. Um, let's go back down here, what I was um, doing. I'm just wasting time until those two level up. Um, but we're also going to give her some military fatigues. Um, okay, military fatigues. Um, like I said, she's relatively low in everything and most things. Um, soldier's uniform. Um, okay, there we go. Military fatigues. That's what I'm looking for. So, let's actually see if there's any um we're, we've got I don't know why he keeps saying that we're low on shit when we're not um okay we got combat armor what I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do oh we got leather armor um that gives it an endurance too Ooh. What I'm going to do, let's go ahead and let's, let's scrap all. Okay. And we got two cars. Okay, so that's our, well, only got rid of one spot, but still, that's pretty decently good. Um, the battle armor. We have a ton of battle armor, so this is what I'm going to do, at least for the time being. I'm going to start selling these. And, come on. There we go. I'm going to get us down to five on this. Um. Okay, there we go. And on what was that other armor that we had? I'm going to sell three of these also. It seems like for everything you get, um, ten bottle caps and everything. Uh, okay. So, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to get us down where we have relatively low, um, we don't have like a ton, a fuck ton of stuff in our inventory. Um, you know what, let's actually do that with, um, this too. We'll get ourselves down to five. And come on, there we go. 
Okay, there we go. Everything must go. Um, just to kind of get our... Oh, you can actually... Because these are relatively easy to find also. And we can also make them. So we're going to get ourselves down to five on this. And watch. Vault Boy will still be like, you're running well in storage space. I swear. Um. Um, okay. Um, we'll go back to doing that. We want to find, uh, Mr. Dweller for right now. Um. Which I do not see his situation going on. Um. Okay, I don't see him. Okay, well, he booked himself out of existence. But yeah, let's just go ahead and finish cleaning out our storage. Um, we're on our outfits, I believe. And I still haven't figured out what that giddy up buttercup, um, does. Um, where are we? Uh, the, ooh, we got, oh, dang, we got a ton of formal wear. Um, so, yeah, let's start getting rid of some of these. Um, and I was already working on that. So let's just get rid of some of these. And then we'll get ourselves down. Because the initiate robes, we can actually make them. And we can find them in the wasteland. Like, I've never had a problem with one of my dwellers not coming back with one of these. One, uh, one of these. Okay, that's my neighbor. Um, our neighbor, he's, um, he's popping by to, um, pick up the keys for our house because he wants to get something out of our storage building. Um, Luca can actually take care of that. I don't think I need to. Um, okay. And so, on formal wear, I'm gonna get us down to five on, on that also. And, like I said, I'll probably bump that, um, that night we're down to. But, we're doing good on space. Let's see. Oh, dang it. Come on, there we go. Uh, come on. Oh, come on. Five more. Like I said, um, formal wear, I can find that pretty easily now that I've got, um, specialty animals and everything, so that actually won't be that bad. Um, and we'll actually get ourselves. Um, I don't think I have any more of the sexy nightwear um, and everything, but we will we'll equip our, our super soldier. We'll equip him, um, well, our first two super soldiers. We'll equip them with some, um, some nightwear and everything. Even though their charisma is maxed out, we still will do that. Um, we're going to keep the military fatigues just the way they are. But we'll get... I'm going to bump us down to 15 on this. Um, um, actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to bump us down to 10. Because like I said, junior officer uniforms, they're relatively... Um, easy to find if you've got the right animal equipped to your wasteland explorers. So, there we go. Um, okay. Our, our space situation is still doing good. Um, so we got our power armor. Like I said, I will eventually get them um, power armor and send them out into the wasteland, but we're doing good. Ah, uh, dang it. We got a rad scorpion attack. Um, okay, so let's actually heal. Um, dang it. There we go. Um, come on, I need you guys to wreck some shop. Oh, damn it. Um, let's give these guys some better weapons, actually. Um, you know what? Let's actually, you know what, I will revive him. Um, okay, we'll revive him also. Okay, come on. And we will revive her. 
Um, we'll also give, um, I think we, since we can do it and everything, let's give them some relatively better weapons and everything. Um, let's give her a lever action rifle. What do you got? Oh, you've got this nonsense. Let's give him, um, lever action and we'll give what you got you've got the hunting rifle not too bad um what about you i think you had a relatively crap ass weapon okay um and we will give him also a hunting rifle and what about your situation and we'll heal you up also while we're at it and we will give him okay he's got an enhanced scope but we're still going to switch him out. And we will give him... Um, we'll give him a sawed-off shotgun. I, like I said, I'm I'm partial to the sawed-off shotgun. Um, but yeah, let's just go through and um, level these people up also. Um, what about you? She just had a little bit of radiation poisoning. But like I said, we've got a ton of... Um, Rat packs and everything, so we're good. Um, okay. And then we'll level these people up. Oh, and we'll level these people up. Anybody else that needs to be leveled up? Oh, yeah, you guys need to be leveled up. Okay, so we're we're still doing good. Um, how long do we have left over here? Okay, so we got three to five minutes left on each of these while we're doing that we'll go through and we will oh we got the alarm clock and we got a man magnifying glass um and then we'll also we'll scrap this okay um let's just go ahead and scrap that for i think we can get something from this if i'm not mistaken oh well i was wrong okay um the pool cue like I said, it hits from 0 to 8, so there's sometimes that you can womp something with the, um, pool cue, and it ain't gonna do diddly dick and everything, but we will eventually, um, get around to taking care of that delightful situation where we may, we may scrap, scrap that weapon. I don't know if the scrap happens on random, or you know are you getting back what you put in to make that item and everything which i mean if it's a pool cue the only thing i see us getting is like wood and i don't know if we can even get that hold on i'll take care of that okay there we go i had to get some water I was starting to get uh, my throat was feeling itchy even though i do i did take my allergy medication like you know sometimes inevitably you do get the itchy throats especially i usually don't talk this much like even with my husband um okay he's out but yeah I don't talk that often and everything so when I talk a lot yeah my throat gets kind of itchy and I don't like it um okay, we need to undo that situation that we did um okay so they're good um let's see I may end up giving him well he's relative like Larry Graham he's relatively low in like most things um but that's what we may we may do like our you know what i'm gonna actually go ahead and do something real quick um where's that dog situation okay so we're actually going to unequip her with that oh we've got some radiation action happening down here um let's take care of that before we do anything else and boop boop i guess this is where the rad scorpion um went after he left our our other situation um and how she okay there we go so now we're all nicely leveled up and everything um how long until we get some more i've got five seconds over here and we've got a minute and something over here okay so we'll let mr handy take care of that situation there he goes we'll go back um we got less than a minute, I believe. Yeah, we got less than a minute. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clip her with 
um, what is it? That plus one child. I don't think it can do anything, but I will. I'll give her Yuki. Hello, Yuki. I think I kind of want to get a dog and name him Yuki. I think that would probably be pretty awesome. Um, okay, so if she would just hurry up. No for hurrying up. Come on, you can do it. I know you can. You can level up. And you can be completely maxed out on um your your wonderful um intelligence situation. There we go. Now we're maxed out. So she's maxed out. And we're gonna move her. Um if you remember I said this was gonna actually be our super soldier. Oh, we got some more people that are maxed out. Oh hot damn. Okay, that situation. Oh, I think it. Next level recorded. Okay. Okay. There. Um, let's see, how's our situation looking over here? Um, oh, I already leveled her up. That's the reason. Um, we'll actually make them out also. Um, how long is her these guys? Okay, they got a while. Um, I heard Mr. Dweller. Um. Ah, we got a red roach infestation. Um, like I said, we can handle this relatively easy. Um, let's actually switch out her weapon since we've got some better. Let's give her a hunting rifle. Um. Hey, come here. And we'll take care of her situation. Um, do we have more shotgun? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll get that. Um, and so, yeah, we're, we're doing good on that. Um, so we're gonna actually, we're gonna move over here. And then, our people are gonna get delightfully mixed up. Um, so we'll put We'll max him out over here. And then we'll move that situation over here. And then we'll move that situation over here. Um. Let's see. How, the, how are these people doing on intelligence? Okay, they've already leveled up their intelligence. Oh, I didn't see that. Um. Jesse Harris. Okay, so let's actually... Okay, they're all maxed out on intelligence, so... Um... Natalie Bishop. She's running... She's a little behind. Um... She needs to work on her endurance. Um... Where's she actually going? Um... I'm gonna put her right there for a second. Um... I'll get my notes just to see where she's supposed to be. And everything. Um... Because I think she's actually supposed to be in this room. I'm not 100% sure. Um, okay. Okay, so we got her in there. And now he's maxed out. So we'll, we'll breed the two of them together. Um, it shouldn't take long since he's maxed out. Everything. Who are you? Okay, your door's push. Let me get... Let me grab my notes real quick. Um... Dang it. Okay, let's zoom out for a second. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, Doris Bush. Uh, okay, she's actually not with any particular team. So here's what we're going to do. See, I told you it's going to take them relatively no time um, to make babies. Come on. There you go. Graduation night, always good. Okay, so we'll let her deal with her pleasant hoo-ha situation. This lovely lady, we're actually going to move her into here. Because like I said, Doris Bush, she's not a part of any of our teams. And I don't know where the, why the heck she was. Oh, we're one step closer. I would sing um, One Step Closer by Linkin Park, but I don't remember the lyrics, and um, 
I, I also sound bad when I sing. Okay, so with him, we're gonna move him up here. Um, okay, we got Mr. Dweller action actually. Let's take care of that. Um, I don't see our Mystery Dweller action. Um, I'm just gonna let him bloop out of existence since I don't think I can find him. Okay. So yeah, um, we're gonna put him up here. And we're also going to, since he's completely maxed out on stats, we're going to give him um, some power armor. Uh, let's see. Let's give him um, the T. I'm going to give him, since he was our first graduate, I'm going to give him the T45F armor. Okay, so he's doing good. Um, and let's see what else will we do down here. Um, she's good, I will say, on her situation. Um, oh, yeah, here's what we want it to do. We're going to give her, even though she's maxed out on um, intelligence, just because we have like a uniform look for um, our, like, our science lab and everything. Um, I will go ahead and put her, um, in the clinic and everything and give her a lab coat. And then, I'm trying to think what I want to do real quick. Okay. So, some of these people, what I'm thinking is going to happen, they're going to have to wait until we get some maxed out, um, people. Well, actually, maybe not. Um, um. Okay, Philip Bush, are you a part of anything? Um, Philip Bush. Actually, no, he's not a part of anything either. So, since Philip Bush is not actually a part of anything, he's got relatively high perception. I am going to actually move him. Um, let's see, how's he? He can actually do plus six there. I'm going to actually move him into here. And then with her, um, I'm going to move, I'm going to grab her, and I'm going to move her down here. Um, well, I'm going to try to move her down here. Um, okay, there we go. So some of these people who aren't, that are maxed out and they're not a part of our team, let's just go ahead real quickly and... Uh, okay. um, let me, let me take this call real quick, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, and I'm back. Um, oh, I did, hey, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. I took care of that situation. So, yeah, we got Raider situation going on. I'm sorry, that was, um, my mom's cousin and everything. So, she was, uh, I think she's calling to tell me. Um, when a funeral is, which I'm not going, I, I think I'm good on funerals and everything. Like, I didn't, uh, my, one of my aunts died last year. I didn't go to her, uh, funeral, which we weren't on speaking terms, so it would have been awkward and everything for me to even show up. But after my mom and dad's funeral and everything, which they didn't die on the same day, they died. My dad died at the beginning of May, like, almost 14 years ago. And then my mom died, um three years ago at the end of May. Oh, dang, we are looking shot. Arr, I'm dead. Oh, we need to heal you. Oh, you're, you're gonna get your ass handed to you if you don't take care of your situation. Okay, come on, take your warning to the face like a woman. There we go. Um, let's just go ahead and sell that. But yeah, I'll call her back in about 10 minutes. I want to finish doing what I'm doing here. Um, so, here's what I'm going to do. With this lovely lady, uh, she's got relatively low endurance. So, I'm going to leave her in there for just a teeny tiny second. And then, let's grab our notes and see who who's not supposed to be where they are. Um, let's actually level that person up real quick. Um, what about you? Uh, Larry Harris? 
Um, Larry. Um, no. But Marie and Grace Harris, they're part of our team. So... Oh, damn it. What, where am I moving into? Actually, I'm going to move him right here. Until I figure out where where he's going. Well, actually, let's see where he's going first. Oh, I got people sending me tweets. Am I missing something within the game? Um, where is he going? Um. Okay. We're not going to do anything with his charisma. Um, I'm just putting him here so I can see... Okay, so he's high in perception also. So let's actually take him, since he's so nicely high in perception. Um, oh, that's endurance. Um, let's move him into here. And then with her, I think that's Janet Pearson, if I'm not mistaken. I will move her into here. Um, and move up her. She's maxed out. Um, Natalie Bishop. Natalie Bishop. Yeah, she's a part of our overseers team. So, we're going to move her into a room that trains endurance, I believe. Um, yeah, we'll move her over one. So, let's make sure that all of our super soldiers are where they're supposed to be. Um, what are you... I don't think he's a part of any team. David Harris. Oh, yeah, he's a part of our vault defend he's a vault defender um jesse harris uh yeah he's a part he's our generation two super soldier um what about her she may be our janice newton she's a part of generation two super soldier um janice newton i'm trying to get can i hold on, i'm trying to maneuver my camera so i can uh gene myers Okay, so these are all our people for, um, which one, who's it, um, our, um, our Generation 2 Super Soldiers. Um, so we're doing good for right now. We can actually move, oh, I hear you. Let's move him into here for right now. And let's see if we can find our door situation. Um, uh, no, we actually can't. Um, I can't find them. Okay, well, anyway. Um, let's see. What about the people in this room? Um, Sarah. Sarah Ross, where are you? Okay, so Sarah Ross, she's not a part of anything, but she's got a uh, relatively high, um, she's almost completely maxed out. How, how long until, okay, she's got 17 hours. We're actually going to move her, um, she's got relatively high perception, I believe. Um, um, maybe not. Um, okay. Um, she's got relatively six, she's got, she'll improve six over here with our power situation. Four over here and five. So yeah, let's move her, um, into here real quick. And then with her, hold on, I'm going to try to, there we go. Let's put her up here for a second. Um, so that takes care of her situation. Um, what about Russell? Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. no, I want to be Russell Crowe. He's not actually part of anything. Um, let's see, where can we move him where he's going to be relatively high? And okay, he can't, he's not actually going to. Okay, he's not good here. Um, where can I actually move him? Okay, um, hold on. I'm looking. Um, he's got relatively high strength. Um. Hmm. Um. Okay, he's not really good anywhere. So, we're going to move him into, um, this bedroom. 
American, is he moving? He's not moving. Okay. You need to move into here, kind sir. Okay. Um. And Gary Hawkins. Gary. Where, where are you, Gary? Okay, he just got there. And everything, but we're already going to move him out. And we are going to... He's got relatively... He's got better intelligence than anything. But at least for right now, let's move him back up here. Just for the time being. He's not going to stay there. Ah, uh, we got rad scorpion situation. Um... Hey, can you come over here? Um. And there we go. Um, I'm going to actually switch out his weapon since he's got a relatively low weapon. And I'm going to give him a good old standby of a shotgun. Uh, don't worry, people will move back to where they're supposed to be. Um, our maxed out people. Don't worry, they're going to get some uh, better weapons. And we just need them to... Ooh. Dang it. I know that I healed her. Um. Okay, so how is she... Um, she's not... Ooh. Ooh. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and take care of her situation. Uh, we'll revive her. And then we will also move her back here. Um, okay, she's maxed out. Um, dang, where can we put her? Because she's high on, she's got relatively good strength. Okay. Okay, so Natalie Bishop, okay. She's, yeah, I keep saying... Um, how is our Mr. Driller situation? Um, he is non-existent because I cannot find him. Okay. Oh, there he is. There you go. Um, so yeah, those two, they're going to stay up there. Um, okay. Um, she's high on that. Um, let's work on her endurance. What's our next room that is going to be relatively good for endurance? Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, okay, so that's our endurance situation. Um, let's move her over here, just for the time being. Oh, we can actually... Okay, we can move her over there. And then... Um, what is this room? This transfer perception. Do I have anybody who can go into the perception room? No. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's actually give these two ladies... Let's give them a break. And we'll move... Actually, let's move them in here where they can actually be social. I know that dwellers are probably... They're not alive, so they probably don't even know that they're being social. But yeah, just so that I can keep everybody where they're supposed to be. And just have like one room for everything. Um, okay, so that situation is taken um, care of. And blow these people up. And... Okay. Dang, I really wish I had someone to put in here. Um, we actually know what we do. Let's actually... We can actually put him back down here. Um, even though, like I said, he's got really nothing going on for him. Um, let's move him into here. Um, and we'll move Larry Graham into here also. Um... How are you doing? Um, we'll move him into here. And we will completely... We'll max out his stat action. Um, that should be relatively beneficial. Um, okay. And we're going to level air these people up. Um, oh, now I remember what I was going to do real quick. 
Um, let's give him, um, Larry Harris. Uh, oh, that's Jesse Harris. Sorry. So, with him? Actually, you know what? Where is, okay. Um, he's got relatively high intelligence also. Um, let's see. Okay, she's maxed out on that, so she's okay. Um, mm, Russell, Russell Richards. Mm, where can we put you? Um, okay. Um, let's try to find him before I start doing anything, because I'm trying to figure out like where I can move these fucking people. Um. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. we're actually really good. Um, okay, you know what? I can't find them. Um, so yeah. Okay, so we're, we're doing good right now. Let's actually just leave things at that, where people are right now. Once they start leveling up, I will put them, um, in relatively good places. I'm gonna remove her, um, her vault suit. I mean, her advanced jumpsuit. And I'm going to actually upgrade her weapon while we're at it. And that will be like the final thing that we do for today. And we're going to my old favorite, the sawed off shotgun. Okay. Um, and we'll level everybody up real quick. Okay, so we got those people there. We will eventually, we will move um, them around and everything, which, let's see. Um, okay, she has no endurance. She has no endurance. Um, no endurance. Okay, what, is she a part of any team? Um, Gloria Ross. No, she's actually not a part of any team. Um, but she does have relatively high, um, strength. So, let's see if there's somewhere that we can move her. Okay, she's gonna be plus three. In that power plant plus three here and plus two there so let's move her into here um and let's move her um yeah we'll let her stay there um but yeah let's just move people around real quick um to try to increase our happiness level that should if we put them like in places that they're supposed to be um, let's actually see. She's, she's not good at anything, but, so here, you know what, let's do this real quick. One last thing. I'm like Columbo. Uh, one more thing. Um, got living quarters. So let's, since, I mean, he's always saying that we're bad on storage and everything. Let's go ahead and add in the storage room. And that's going to make our storage room uh, a 4x4 four four and everything. This whole entire floor is just going to be nothing but storage anyway. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, she's got relatively low. Um, I think I just used her as a breeder, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move her. I forgot I didn't even give her a weapon. Okay, so... Uh, do we got any more shotgun action? No, we don't have any more shotgun action. We'll give her the hunty, um, the rusty hunting rifle, and we're gonna give her, um, where is it? Did I, did I exhaust all of it? Um, I think I did. So yeah, I was gonna give her wasteland gear, but it doesn't look like I have wasteland gear. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll let her stay there and everything, and she's going to take care of our, our um, storage situation. Okay, so we're good. Dang, I'm telling you, we're working shop now that we got some better weapons. Uh, where is he actually going? Okay, he's just roaming around. Um, okay, he's... He's out of here. Yeah, I didn't hear it because over the... Um, the something's going on inside your vault music. Okay, so she's there. Let's go ahead and okay. 
Okay, so these are pretty much so. Let's see. Emily Mitchell. She's got relatively nothing. Um. Emily Mitchell, and who are you? Madison Bishop. Um. Madison. Okay, Madison isn't a part of anything. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to bump out this rock right here. And then we'll also... Nope, we're not going to bump out more rock. Um, we're going to actually put in another storage room. And then these two lovely ladies will go there. And we'll go there. Um, Anna Morgan... She's got, she's just so low and everything. What we'll do, just for shits and giggles, we'll put this here, and then we'll also put um, our elevator situation. I did not mean to do that, but that will be okay. Because we got the bottle caps to do it. Um, so that they can get there. And I'm also going to move her into here. Okay. And then let's go ahead up here and we'll have them craft. Um, let's see. I think I've got the weapon plans for some wasteland gear. I do. We'll just have them turn out wasteland gear and everything. And that will take care of our sword situation um, also. Okay. How are we doing? Okay. Um, Gerald Morgan. He's doing good. Okay. So. Okay, so we're, we're doing relatively decent, um, I will say, um, for our, our everything situation. So, okay. Good, 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 good. Um, how is our storage situation, um, now that we've done that? Um, okay. Um, we can actually accommodate 490, thing um, items. Um, okay. I'm just going to scrap these for the bottle caps um, just last minute and I do believe uh, ladies and gentlemen that is that we've maxed out our, our floor on um, uh, uh, storage so what I'm going to do is since this like I said what we're going to be doing now is I'm going to off camera uh, I'm going to buy Mr. Handy and hold on first I'm going to find this situation um, 155 bottle caps, not too bad. Um, doesn't make up for what we spent today, but still, I mean, we're just 20,000 away from being able to do everything that we want to do. Um, but, like I said, now that we've maxed out this floor, we'll put a Mr. Handy down here. And then, um, at midnight, I'll take this Mr. Handy, move him out to the wasteland. Take, um, the Mr. Handy that's going to be down here, move him out into the wasteland. Um, super soldiers um, I will tomorrow that's when we will send um, did I move somebody? I did um, I actually didn't mean to do that um, but that situation it'll resolve itself don't worry okay so we'll put her down here um, and then where's our other little chickadee okay um, hey, come here. And we'll move her into this. We'll move her back to that situation. Um, okay. And then Kimberly Wright. Oh, okay. We've got. I was not aware that said it. Oh, Luca must be getting a package. Um, we'll have her train her luck. Okay, so we're doing good. Um, but yeah, it must, uh, Luca must have just told them to uh, redirect his package because I see UPS out, um, not UPS, FedEx and everything. But we'll take, we'll take care of that situation pretty damn quickly. Um, how are we doing on everything else? Okay, so yeah, I'm going to end things right here. I will see you back here tomorrow for uh, Fallout Shepherd. This will be actually day 40 inside our vault. We've done a lot in 40 days. 
I mean, maybe not as much as, like, you know, we didn't build an ark and prepare for the flood. Um, but, I mean, 40 days is still, um, pretty decent. He should be okay, um, up here by himself, at least for the time being, I will say. Um, but I think everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be inside the vault. So, yeah. I'm going to leave things right here. I'll see you back here tomorrow for day 40 inside the vault. Uh, do me a uh, favor as usual. Like, comment, and subscribe. And show that Muxy link um, a little bit of love. And I just now noticed that our bottle cap, we've got some 666 action going on. Ooh, we need to, we need to take care of that. Uh, but yeah, show that Muxy uh, link some, some love. And then I will see you guys tomorrow. But until then, stay safe.